Every marker represents a lost baby, taken away from their parents after a miscarriage or stillbirth decades ago. Most of their families have no idea where they are. Why didn't I hold him? Why didn't I, I look at him, but it was too late. He'd gone. 40 years ago, Yvonne's baby was stillborn. He was taken away. She never saw him. All I had was a priest come to see me and just say that he will have a, you know, a proper burial. Next morning, ready to go home, that was it. I've always wished I knew where he was to go to a grave. Quickly removing a baby's body was common before the 1980s to avoid traumatising a mother further. Medical practice has completely changed now, but it meant thousands of families didn't get a chance to say goodbye. Paula Jackson traced her friend's twin sister, who died just nine hours after she was born, 60 years ago. Piecing together old records, she realised her experience could help other bereaved families, so she now does it for free in her spare time. Thank you so much, Paula, for finding my baby after 48 years. We have traced almost 800 babies from 1935 up to the 90s. It was a very different time. We have had families where the mother was literally told that her baby had died and then told to stop crying. Paula's work tracing babies' graves has been recognised by a cross-party group of MPs. It's led to a debate in the Commons this week that aims to help families gain some sort of closure. It's so important that they're able to commemorate and they have to know where these, these babies are. We do owe these mums an apology and the system was wrong. And now we have an opportunity to make sure that we, have, we make amends for the damage that we caused. Hi, it's lovely to see you. Thank you. After making contact online, Yvonne and Paula are meeting for the first time. It took four months of searching through records, but in the corner of a graveyard amongst the bushes is her son's grave. Thank you. It was sad. Sorry. I'll cut bushes down, don't worry, I'll keep him clean now. She found him for me and I'm so happy. I think for parents, the, the worst thing is not knowing. Yeah. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you very much. <laughs> but this is just one family. There are so many other children waiting to be found. Frankie McCamley, BBC News.